What's up with it? What's up with it? Another episode. Keep it solid. 21, man. Hey, man. I'm back, man. God damn it. Got my little bro with me today, man. Uh, shit. You know what I'm saying? This is real talk. We're going to talk about some real shit today. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We're going to jump into a lot of shit, nigga. I don't, I don't know. Nigga, my brain everywhere right now. So, shit. Uh, first thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Just... I don't know. But first, you know, I want to jump into that. You know, we're going to jump into about the black coaches. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, you know, just to jump on that and say something about that, they just doing these extra. The, if they if they, if they do hire any more black coaches in here, for sure, it's just because they just trying to throw a monkey wrench. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, we're going to jump off of that. And your shit muted, bro. Shit, your shit muted. I can't. All right, bet. But yeah. Anyways, man. God damn, man. What's up with it, bro? What's up with it, uh, big bro, man? That's uh, big bro say he want to talk about the the rap environment, man. Yeah, I talk about the rap environment, man. Just I don't know. Just I know just a lot of you know a lot of month, a lot of people that do want to rap, bro. I know they they feel discouraged of trying to come and rap because they see how dangerous it is, and I feel like it is dangerous. But at the same time, I feel like I don't know, man. Like. I don't know. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody just had young boy his lyrics. You know what I'm saying? It just they 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 vibe off it. I mean, you can't you can't do nothing about it, man. The young generation they love him, man. You can't you know what I'm saying? You're the dog, but nigga, don't get me wrong, nigga. He a good artist. He got a couple little songs I like. You know what I'm saying? Them hoes be bumping. But uh, I just like I just want to just know as far as like how can we. You know, still you know encourage people if they do want to do it. You know what I'm saying? To just say like, hey, they still want to go. After really, that. really, I think some of these rappers are like holding back because of what they seeing happen to the rap environment. Like, yeah, it don't matter where you stay, where you from on on the planet Earth. If you a rapper, you a target. And yeah, that's, real just, shit. that's just, I mean. As you, as you look around, man, and you from the hood, you know what that fame like for anything, not even just being a rapper. Mm -hmm. So, for you to be able to be understanding a, a billboard, and people look at and, and and they look at you on the billboard for pop popularity. What's up with it? What's up with that, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas gonna get the hating and coming at you, then you gonna have to step and press on them niggas and it's gonna yeah. start some shit or you know what i'm saying it's gonna start a beef or some shit like or whatever the fact you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. these niggas really living what they rapping bro they they rapping about with them bodies you know what i'm saying they catching and all that shit and the uh, leaks and shit and, I'm talking about rappers just the rap environment you know what i'm saying just speaking you know on what that I'm saying? that shit just <clears throat> but I, you know what i'm saying to, but i mean i mean like a lot of shit do you feel like you know, in some instances, like, a lot of niggas, you, like, come from the streets, nigga, and they got a lot of street beef. Do you feel like most of the niggas that are, like, commercial rappers, like, do you think they really in the streets like that and they beef is real? Some of them, oh. I can say, from what I'm looking at, any, anywhere from 50 to mm -hmm. 60 know, 50 percent, yeah. 50 to 60 percent of them, more than, like, probably pushing, like, 75 percent of them really is living that shit or came up off the street. That's the only reason yeah. why they rapping because yes, when you make and start making 100 bands and you putting that shit up in the game or better, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You different out here. So shit, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just the culture of what the, what the streets like bring to the community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I feel you on that. That's why I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just as far as like, I don't know, man, like it, it, <laughs> It's kind of crazy because a nigga can't really live their dream. Like, just if they just want to rap, nigga, you know what I'm saying? They just, as far as, nigga, you just know what you signing up for type shit. Like, if you was trying to, right. if you was hustling, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, I'm a, okay. 100%. 100% understand what where you're coming from, but mm -hmm. some of this shit comes from niggas fuck my baby mama or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck a nigga bitch or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some of this shit, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it comes down to that shit. And then <clears throat> when you look at Mo 3 and Dawg's situation, now, them was the two most niggas who was talking the most shit on somebody's name. Yeah. 
for some, you know, not saying a nigga ain't supposed to have sympathy for them niggas, but let me tell you a difference between a nigga like Moneybag, yo, something like that. See, them niggas gonna talk that shit, but they ain't gonna ride a whole, yo, whole, <laughs> yo, whole motherfucking everything about this and Yeah, that. real shit. <laughs> like, you when sure you right. get up, I'm gonna tell you like this, fan, to keep it playing. When you get up like that, you can have any hoe you want, you can have any car. You won't have the dash that hate on no nigga. Nigga, you real you know shit. What I'm like, come on, bro. You got the same potential, the same opportunity, the same shine, the same grind, the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, man, these niggas be out here playing with the wrong niggas, man. When niggas be, <laughs> see, Gotti one never worried about young dog. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was started that shit. And he got mm-hmm. in, he got what he deserved out this shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't rap about a nigga and cap and then mo three. Come on, bro. You see niggas don't be knowing the back end of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't like putting the streets out there. I'm from Dallas, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm tied into a lot of streets out here. What niggas don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's why I'm like, you know, on this, on just saying, speaking on that, nigga, job, like just speaking on that, just a lot of niggas don't, you know, say like they don't know the under the, the shit that comes under that shit. Like they come where they running for like what most time when a nigga get hot, nigga, they probably be in a full law war, nigga. You don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Just to speak on that. But uh that shit, <coughs> that shit from Fort Worth turned them up, you know what I'm saying? But you can't <coughs> see <coughs> see the difference between Memphis, bro, in Dallas, my nigga. Most we don't got no nigga like got it. We don't got no real nigga out here that got that bag. Nah, real here, shit. You know what I'm saying? Sign the niggas and shit. Like Dallas gonna, gonna never be like that because these niggas gonna hate or it's gonna be man. Come on, bro. You see the shit, bro. Nah, yeah, you said the way. But okay, let's, let's just speak on that so we can get off of that, nigga. Like, what do you think it's gonna take for like just us as black like, culture, nigga, just to like you nigga come together, be on some shit, like nigga, we can take over. Like, not that I just want to speak on some, some real shit, like nigga. It just, it's, that that's what that's all you ever hear is just you nigga, nigga always hate nigga. A nigga probably just be on some some some. You know, step back, uh, backstabbing shit, niggas. So we gotta like, start. We gotta start giving our generation shit value, showing them how to value money, how to value major, like what you call that shit, uh, material shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So they understand when they get older, when they get some money, they'll know how to stack this shit. So they ain't hating on the next man, or you know what I'm saying? Or, real shit. You gotta teach that shit in your environment, like inside the house. We need more men, which I ain't gonna say is impossible because I'm a father, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real father type shit, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna take us to be some real men to get along with these women so they can understand. You're gonna have to fight. Whenever you in the man, I ain't saying like, you ain't supposed to do it physically, but like deep down inside, you're gonna have to fight with a woman to 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 so y'all can stay rooted. So these Not kids shit. can have a future, bro. Besides, I ain't right without a daddy. Niggas punking me or niggas yeah. shooting at me Talk or that shit, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Daddy, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like this: a nigga who in a son life, you gonna know yeah. because my son come to me. I don't know nobody. You know he got big brothers and shit, but he be wanting to know how to fight. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Uh, you know. Girls and shit like that. You know? Yeah. You just gotta. You especially gotta get on that level four. It's like. How to treat women and how to talk shit. to them, who to how what to look for. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be, you gotta tell your son, you gotta show your son what to look for in a woman so he ain't looking stupid. And now and know what to expect. You gotta know them know what to yeah, expect. Man. You know what I'm saying? When you don't get your way, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, you more like teach saying, like just teach them the right way. You feel me? Like I, I, teaching them, hey man, like this is what you gotta go through. Like you have a family, bro. You ain't gotta be out here by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know Girl, what I'm saying? Told- what should I have it? You know, but you gotta know what you picking though too. It's gotta you gotta, yeah. a lot of niggas don't understand what they picking when they when they doing this shit. They just really you just really just off a of lust type shit. Most time when you jump yeah. in these situations, bro, it's not see, really. See, when I got married, I I, I got married. I met my wife at church, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not to mm-hmm. say my wife was the perfect woman. You know, you realize that. 
because I wasn't a perfect nigga when it comes to that church shit. You know what I'm saying? I already been through the scene. Day woman from the club coming to me, approaching me. Then was the wrong woman. They approach you, they gonna approach another nigga and another nigga and another nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not real shit. Not saying my wife didn't choose on me, but she she was in the right vibe and she was raised. Right. I know my wife was raised up to be to 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 basically value a husband in a way. Nah, real shit. I feel like the same with my wife, nigga. That that she was raised that way to be knowing how to. You know what I'm saying? But you got, but you know, you gotta have niggas don't know how to take over the household. You know what I'm saying? I real mean, shit. you really real do shit. because, and that's some shit I'm learning. But see, not real shit. <laughs> think about my, my nigga, I'm like, I'm not. I mean, as <laughs> long as you bring in some finance, man, and you a hey. man, you can plan everything else. Not real shit. Nah, nigga, I'm already knowing. That's why it's, but it's a lot of niggas I don't know, man. Like nowadays, it's just like. People ain't really ain't trying to try to be together, bro. If it ain't working the first time, it just it's I mean, done, nigga. That's why I say you gotta be willing to fight, bro. That's why that's why I brought that up. And what you saying? With, <coughs> right. But how do you how do you know? How do you know that it's it's, it's the whole point of like staying with that? You know what I'm saying? How do you know? Do you have to go through what do you have to go through that you know like it's not this not what it is? Both of y'all gonna have to test each other. You gonna have to put yourself in the water for us, like like my wife broke it down to me. You know what I'm saying? All that bullshit about that. You know, she don't, uh, uh, of course, a nigga ain't gonna want to divorce a real nigga. I ain't gonna say I, my wife ain't a real woman, but at certain circumstances, it come down to a boundary as a man to be fed over just, you know what I'm saying, how she ran around the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, as a man, as a leader, woman yeah. need to get out they shell, they whatever the fuck environment they see in and just understand, okay, yeah, you want you this, 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 but your husband is the person who's supposed to be not demanding. You know, we both listen to each other, but yeah. we compromise and coming together and doing shit together. Fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, baby, I think, you know what I'm saying? Let's just do compromising this shit together because I feel like if you compromise together, you won't have that shit. Oh, you trying to run the shit, you trying, you know what I'm saying? Even though in the Bible, it's going to tell you who the head is, who the woman's supposed to learn from. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. most men are educated. You might be a woman with educated. You're not that educated. Or, you know what I'm saying? I but mean, you got to know how to balance. You got to know what it is. Yeah. But like, I feel like if you if you know, if you bring it in the financial shit and just saying, if your wife get paid more than you, you know what I'm saying? Just saying, you know what I'm saying? But you still bring it in, whatever. But your wife get paid more than you, nigga. You still the head of the household as long as you take care of the responsibilities of the house. Exactly. And see, that's what I'm trying. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, and you can still walk around like, "Hey, bro, I'm king around here." Because shit, because look, you still got responsibility. You got to do shit. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You still, you you still bringing the income. You ain't a nigga just not doing something. That's just like still a oh, businessman with potential. Like one, most women don't want to support. They feel like, oh, you need a job in the business. You can't focus on your business. You working for a company, nah, then your business shit. go all the way down. And you just like, damn, I could have focused more on it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you like this, man. The generation going to change when we get more men and more married. That's why I was like, when a lot of people start getting married and shit after I got married or yeah. just seeing younger people being better dads, then I feel like it'll change. But What's up with Eric? it's going to take a five to ten year gap before this shit just get a little better, you know what I'm saying? No, I feel what you're saying, but I, I just feel like you saying more of niggas didn't be in their household and just really yeah. raise their men, raise their sons as men, and watch what you do in front of your kids because nigga, it, it, it's nigga, they take it certain ways, nigga, and they, you know, yeah. they learn and they can, they can soak, soak that shit up. They can yeah, take I, it different ways. I learned that shit the hard way too, and I talked mm -hmm. to my boys. About Me too. Shit, I ain't gonna like, hey, say, <laughs> hey, but, bro, you little brother, you ain't in there. But look, we make mistakes because, of, you know, me and you, we, you know, me and you, we, we, we come from the same shoes. Our mamas, mm -hmm. our mamas was our heart, mother, you know what I'm saying? So we yeah. all knew we was a woman. We knew how to treat a woman. We knew mm -hmm. how to, you know what I'm we saying? Did, we did, but then we just sometimes didn't want, you know, we just wanted to be that player. You know what I'm saying? Just, it but just, it was in us. Have, because that, but we we know. that shit from my daddy, though. Yeah, you know real saying? nigga shit. shit. No, not. <laughs> we get that not. shit from my daddy, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but some, but see, you got to have that mentality, like, all right. Do I want to be like my dad or do I want to change that culture and be different than him? I I think I got married to be better than my dad. Like I be it's time I want to give up and I think about him. Boy, my, it's and a my lot wife. of shit, yeah. So it just 
That had a, that had a lot. That had a lot of a bigger impact on my shit too. I ain't gonna knock you, nigga. Like just just being better than him. But you know, see, I know, you know, we both. I don't know. I I got it. I had a stepfather, nigga. So it was more. You know, I mean, he yeah. was. He was. You know, I I you know don't knock that. You know what I'm saying, nigga. He did what he could, bro. You know what I'm saying. But um, just you know, I just having that male figure in that house, I feel like it just it helps out a lot, nigga. Like just with the with with sons, daughters. And it helps out more for is like you have to think about your kids' future. Like mm -hmm. what I told my wife, I said, you know what? You know, we starting over, whatever. You know, we working our shit out in the house. You know, we going through our shit. We, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We all is. But uh, appreciate it. Well, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, no man. But you know what I'm saying, like. If she want to work that shit out, I'm going to work that shit out with her. You know what I'm saying? But I told her like this, you know. It's really about my kids right now. You know, we had our... We done, we done did too much. So it's time to just get them a life right now. Right now, we need to focus on giving them what they want in life. Yeah, that's why I say more focus on the kids, bro. Because, like, nigga... Because... <laughs> bro. <laughs> I mean... If you're not focusing on the kids and you focusing on other shit, it's just like the kids gonna think about the foundation. Mm -hmm. You know, as he say, be fruit and multiply. He wants you to multiply because you have something to cherish, you have something to love, you have shit. you have something to build on to start your own legacy and shit like that. <clears throat> man, we just got to be more real niggas, man. It's, I blame us men now more than I've been blaming men. That's why I hang with. Women and my wife might not like it, but you know you can't really blame them, bro. It's really with but us, bro, because we I gotta sit this thing. But I hang around real niggas, so I can't no, I really, really put myself. It balances itself out with me. I, all my partners take care of their kids. Like that's what that's yeah. <laughs> that's you know what I'm saying. Out. So it's yeah, shit. yeah. So you can't really, you can't really, whatever a nigga do in his life, bro. You can't like, bro. If you take care of that, bro, that's really what you supposed yeah, to do. You that's a real nigga to me. I, yeah, I, don't, I don't give a really fuck. Shit. Niggas yeah. be having stories about niggas. I'm shit. He, his kid clean, he's kid straight, he packed one to next girl. I don't, I don't got shit else to judge a nigga about. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Like, I really see you can't. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know. Just I just feel like we just need to, a lot of niggas need to stop hating on a nigga because a lot of shit, niggas yeah, just. That shit for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I told, like I told my partner, I don't know, we ain't told, you know, it's some, just, you know, we, we kind of got into a little. And then we we talk that shit out, you know. We've been knowing each other a long time. I don't got no hate against no nigga. My street niggas, they my niggas. Like a lot of people, mm -hmm. like don't love the streets. I don't, you know. I, I just it's just certain when you get in the streets, it's different when people ain't from the streets. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Not real you shit. Get attached to niggas, you love niggas. You know that it's just street love, bro. That's just niggas that you know that's gonna ride for you. I'm going to earn nigga ass out for you. I'm gonna drop a nigga for you on some if it come down to it. Not so looking for the shit. Nah, and then look. now I told nigga, I'm trying to make some money with niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to be what you niggas trying to do. You know, we just we can start a legacy like that, entrepreneurship. Nah, shit. Just become some young bosses, bro, coming up. And that's my mindset for us right now, for mm -hmm. changing the culture, because that's the only way we're gonna be able to be in the community, be able to look in these white folks' eyes to be able to, see, you know what I'm saying? To say we trying to change, like <clears throat> you know, they got babies. They got basketball goals and shit. They building out here in North Dallas with. This is a, a, a most must need to change environment because these kids over here in the environment is just not what you want them to have your kids. You know what I'm saying? Nah, really sure. I mean, yeah. And I, no, I just think, think more just, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, be active with them. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of just, you know what I'm saying? Let, I mean, them, let, the, let the, the, the tablets I, and shit teach them. <laughs> I feel like most niggas do be kind of active to the kids. It's just, I think these women kind of get jealous because they be wanting they too much of time and they got to think about a man have to balance himself out because <clears throat> you know what I'm saying you have these husbands who really out here getting this money all day mm -hmm. and they ain't seeing they serve my husband when they like you know and they getting kind of vulnerable and women got to start being more stronger than what they are and mm -hmm. start feeding into the bullshit because you really got a lot of wives out here looking more bad than these I mean a husband was looking bad at first but now you got wives out here looking a terrible mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so like from what I'm looking at that's why I'm like, I was looking at it, getting the voice, but, you know, my wife told me straight up. And my cousin, wife, you know, I both our wife said, you know, they loyal to the T for us. So, you know, and, you know, 
that's just what that is. Not real shit. Nah, when you find a real one, you know what I'm saying? You got to hold on to it, nigga. A lot of niggas just... I mean, yo, a lot of people might... You know what I'm saying? But, Stop uh, falling, uh, falling in lust with these bitches, bro, because most times you don't even love that sure. hoe. And when you get now, she it, pregnant it, now, nigga. You like, ah, right, nigga, stop raw, stop raw, dick in the hoe, nigga. She exactly. put a damn condom on her. And, <laughs> like, that's exactly. what I can tell it, nigga, bro. Like, why you raw, dog? No, if you don't fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? And my kids, my kids are based off. I'm gonna tell you, like, you know, what I'm saying we, you know, they my stepkids. Well, they come with her, but I still build my foundation on building a, a big family for them, mm -hmm. getting us a house and stuff like this, so we can have. Cause you know they play sports and stuff like that, getting them oh, ready for shit. shit like that. I was like, my partner son won state for soccer. You know that shit was a well, war. You know, you know he went. You know, he get the he get the man of the year award. I understand. Shout I don't, out to Sock, man. Know. Shout out, shout out to Sock. You know, Michael. Yeah, you know, Mike. He, you know, he always been a good dude. You know, I I look at him and you know that's somebody that a lot of people can look up to. That's not he don't really have no negative name. I have. You know what I'm saying? Not real shit. So it's like, and you know, he, you know, it's just a beautiful thing, man. Just watching these kids be successful, man. So then, when you didn't have a, I, I ain't gonna say we didn't have a dad. I'm just saying, like, for nah, like, we ain't saying that he was there. Like, we could call him, we go get drunk with him and shit like that. But for us, like our goals and our futures, for us, like really focusing on that, for us, like he had some kids that possibly could have made him some money, taking care of him type shit. You know, you get more a little bit more effort. That's why I say it's always niggas probably a little bit more effort than what you give yeah. them. You, know what I'm saying? you can't let yeah, nobody yeah. else raise your kids, bro. Like it's going nah. not gonna end right. You gotta be the nah. one, you know what I'm saying? It's and that's what fight the... and that's what helped me fight too. And my wife, she don't really, you know, she she fuck with her husband. That's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like she got her home girls and shit like that when I get on her nerves and shit, but she really rock with her husband. On the level that a lot of niggas don't, you know what I'm saying, don't know. I don't I done done some horrible things for the husband. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I don't want to get on that. You get why, to come back from if that. Anything I want to divorce so, but see, you know, a lot of come with insecurity in the house on both ends or just not understanding, like understanding. But see, that's what I don't mean cut you off, but like that's just fine when you coming into the relationship, bro. Nigga need to start understanding. Like y'all need to talk, nigga. Like have conversations, well, nigga. Like well, like get to really get niggas, to know a motherfucker, man. Like most nigga. most niggas fuck up, and we and we don't understand why I won't be so mad at us sometimes. But it's probably because I mean you probably looking at she's so mad all the time, but you got to look mm -hmm. at your look at yourself in the mirror for it's like. Really you really can't be entertaining hoes, but at the same time, I ain't saying entertaining hoes, but you know, women shouldn't get mad at. I mean, because women to see a bitch and be like, she bad in a bit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Real shit. <laughs> you can't knock your nigga for that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should be Dude, able to be like, you know, motivated to, you know what I'm saying? Because Ah, we were looking at this surgery. She, you know, people, a lot of women doing that for insecurity. But we just spend some time in to go to the gym. You're going to find really a nigga in the gym mm -hmm. who's going to train you. You're going to date with a nigga in the gym. He already know how to work you out and shit. That's going to be your time. And you're going to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit, I feel like a couple who go to the gym together, that's more better than, I feel like they going to last more than anything. Or for they, like, they fit. They fit. They fit. They mind clear all that mm -hmm. stress. They do that shit for us at together. The gym. Yeah, whatever they had to that oh. day, nigga, they can get that shit out. They get together, real you know shit. And I just feel like it's these niggas out here that's lame. It's really a lot of lame niggas out here. Who, the niggas who can't get no pussy or don't got no pussy or you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Nah, so it's like, like, you know what I'm saying. But like, that's why I said we was talking about that earlier. Like, you know what I'm saying. Like if you know, like a regular nigga, bro, like. It's easier for a regular female to get a celebrity than a regular nigga to get a celebrity. Cause like for as far as a nigga, a nigga can't a nigga can't get his dream, bitch. Like like really and truly, a celebrity can. I mean, a, a regular bitch can kind of get it. To, a, 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 you know what I'm saying? A, I'm gonna tell you like nigga. this: where these celebrities going wrong is, is they getting these models off in IG. These hoes ain't number gold diggers. I'm gonna tell Real you that right now. <laughs> They don't want shit but the money. They don't got no heart, no sympathy, no vow, no. Yeah. They don't want. You know what I'm saying? Not really. So, 
you got to go get the bitch from high school or college yeah. or instead of trying to jump out your standards. Yeah, you know you that gotta, just yeah. Even even niggas that's rich, I ain't got NBA players. I, you know, I done seen NBA player in the fields get fucked. You know what I'm saying? NFL players been in the same situation as us, but Brittany I Rimmer. look at that. A lot of these how a lot of these how be flirtatious too, bro. And they might, you know what I'm saying? And they do that shit just to and then they get mad. A lot of bitches be like, can a nigga take nah the hoe can't take the hurt that they bring? You know what I'm saying? That's just what they do. You know what I'm saying? Think so you don't, you don't think it hurt more than you know what I'm saying if she do it to you. I mean, if she do it to you, you know, I'll play a nigga. If she lying about it, then that's when it's going to come to the point where it's, you know what I'm saying, it's going to come a problem. You know what yeah. I'm saying? For like if it's coming to a husband mind, you know what I'm saying? Not real shit. But, and then you seeing a little shit and then some shit go down, you be like, oh, you, I mean, you know, bro, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And nah, the nigga start like, all right, you think I'm lame? You all right, babe. You feel me? Because nah, most shit. women be looking at husband like they get lame. We got a family. We can't. I'm, I'm <laughs> from the street. You niggas know me before I got married. I was a fool. I ain't saying like I was in the street like that, but you know, I was working and you know, I, I know street nigga. You can't hunt, you can't stand next to me, and that's to the day. Nah, I shit. mean, unless it's on some professional shit, you can't stand next to me if you ain't no gangster certified savage and that's just not nah, real shit but nah uh you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> like that's just straight biz you know what i'm saying so nah, real shit. you just gotta man you gotta you know what i'm saying a woman gotta listen to that man more when he especially when he got a lot of shit a lot of dreams a lot of you know what the, you know mm-hmm. let's do Niggas, niggas, I think some niggas already got a lot of potential for it, like on the boss level, more for like the company. A lot of niggas you know what do, I'm but, yeah, I, but, women but, don't but, take niggas here. I, but I feel like <clears throat> I don't know, man. I feel like a lot of couples need to just come together, nigga, because I mean, that's the best way to make y'all money, you know what I'm saying? Get your money together and have trust. That's one thing, man. Is you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't even gonna get into that shit. You know, some real nigga shit is to be, you know, some still shit. Nah, yeah. That trust a motherfucker. Nah, it is. I feel like if you marry, mm-hmm. it's no, you know what I'm saying? You should have a joint account and it should be no yeah. bullshit, like no childish bullshit when it comes to you take the money out or it be this kind of bull. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, that's our money. We feel the agree on that shit that we feel the split this shit down the middle. And Back in the old day, most people did it like that. Yeah, that's what you do. You don't gonna do no fuck shit just because you. A lot of these women don't be in the chain. They really need guidance from a man because I see it like this. I start looking at the word when it comes to problem. You know what I'm saying? It just you gotta mm-hmm. look at Eve, bro. Like Eve mm-hmm. needed that correction that she didn't listen. So Real we shit. looking at we all out here trying to fix Eve. That's why mm-hmm. this shit ain't working. Real shit. We got too many bitches telling us what to do, how to move, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that. And they do, they can do what the fuck they want to do with no problem, get mad at us, because, like, nah, it, it just... Nah, I feel that. Eve ain't correct You don't think counseling, make, can, I help that, can I help that shit out? Shit, yeah, I mean, it can It can help it if, 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 <clears throat> if it direct y'all probably to possibly God or... Mm-hmm. A right state of mind on both a real understanding. Like you got to really understand. You can't go from your thoughts. You got to really take yeah. counseling opinion. You got to really look at shit. You know what I'm saying? Look at shit different. Because <clears throat> really a lot of women, yeah. they think they right, but then when you tell them this, some of the shit be from the word in a way, or you know what I'm saying? They still. I'm like, all right, I'm just looking at you like you know. I just it talks about a lot of shit, bro. Not mm-hmm. saying men don't make mistakes, but we make mistakes based off the woman, or you know what I'm saying, or some. I ain't saying, but they help us and put us in the blind. As soon as some shit get fucked up, you know we the blame. Yeah, real out shit. Top. That's why they want <laughs> to do everything. We got to pick the food, everything. I'm telling you. Not really. That, think about it. I don't know if you ask your woman what we eating, uh, what you want to eat. That's exactly what she got. Hey, what you so want to eat? And the shit nasty. <laughs> 
You fucked. She gonna have an attitude. You uh, it's shit, just like, like damn, nigga. Like shit, you gotta pick right. You, it's, that's the fucked up part about it. Nigga, you gotta pick right, nigga. A lot of women. Then I be seeing this dude. He be talking about all these singles. It be so funny. I forgot his name. The old school dude be talking about the women who's single. He be trying to give advice to. It be horrible. They be just putting themselves. I be like, damn these women. I be like, I be, I be looking at like, yeah, these women out here just fucked up. I mean, we have you gotta understand though. I mean, I wouldn't blame half of them. Yeah, <laughs> shit, I was with them. I ain't gonna lie, y'all women had me. Oh, these niggas ain't shit. They ain't taking care of their kids. All that shit. I'm with my young nigga every day. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Some of these mm -hmm. motherfucking women motivated me to keep driving to be a man here. I ain't gonna lie. So, but you think you think like women need to lower their standards now and just oh, really. Yeah, most yeah. likely for sure no, we'll see. because yeah. i heard a woman on the radio said she dating five men i said okay i mean that goes <laughs> to <laughs> damn bitch. the five to blatant five, five niggas then, yeah, yeah, nah, nigga, that's, that shit crazy the nigga. ain't no way nigga yeah you so know what i'm saying like, see they basically cheaters man i mean <laughs> I, oh, oh, that that that's just crazy though. There's a woman <laughs> out there doing some shit like that. But look, you know, what I'm but I mean, I, I think it's like a lot this. of single women doing that anyway. I mean, come on, man, look at the world, man. I I see so many bitches selling pussy, <clears throat> then I see bitches with rings. So it's like, shit, say, man, hey man, when when that OnlyFans hit, nigga, oh, I, yeah. I was like, man, Damn. what the. Bro, I bro, I, I had like when in my beginning, my like the beginning podcast, nigga, I had a beef with them niggas, them premium bitch. I said, bro, y'all oh, niggas oh, getting money off of some pictures. Hey, I know some bitches said they got rich. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they ain't talking to hear none of that shit about they are uh how it done, man. I made three million dollars in about four, five months, six months, man. I ain't talking to hear none of that. Bro, I mean, that's crazy, man. Dollars, bro. And I ain't no cap. Like I, you know, I see them and shit, but it's just like, nigga, that's crazy, bro. Like y'all was really out here killing. That's why they shut that bitch down. They're like, man, y'all niggas, nah, hell nah, y'all doing. I mean, too. some of these hoes still. I mean, some of these females still getting killed because they going with these word. They got the money. The word niggas got the money. Not real shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he said, they fuck, you know what I'm saying? They fucking the niggas and the females to get up to the company or whatever the case might be. For us, not weird really and funny. I seen niggas just sniping niggas just because, you know what I'm saying? And niggas killing each other on some gangster shit. We ain't out here on no weird ass shit like shooting up schools and shit. That shit, nah. they try to make like, yeah, we ain't gonna do no dumb. <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> Hey man, cause I bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, <laughs> like, I'm bro, she, like, like she like you, you grew up like predominantly more like just niggas. You know what I'm saying? You went to you know with niggas, all niggas. We see now, you know your brother. I was over on the other side, North Texas, Ooh, nigga, where you know it's white Ooh, black men. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Hey, hey I went to a, I went to Richmond school. Man. It was all you know what I'm saying. I but I, I always, but I thought one day, I was like, man, y'all need to stop pissing them white boys off, nigga. They might come to this hole and just say, fuck it, nigga. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You don't want to fuck with a group of, I mean, most of my white partner was cool, so I ain't nah, gonna you have some no cool ones. Nah, no, no, I had a lot of cool partners at uh, Ryan, nigga, no cap. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So, shit. You gotta have you some white friends. You gotta have some, man. They don't, they don't be no harm, man. man. <laughs> they gonna go hard in the paint. Shit. Nah, real shit. Now you watch that ghost shit, yeah. That, that white boy said that go in clutch, nigga. They'll fuck with their homies, nigga. They, they yeah, homies. He, was a, he was a goofball though. Yeah, he you was though. That he was, was a goofball. Yeah, <laughs> 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 hey, that nigga say that nigga. Hey, man, really, shit got his ass popped, nigga. Hey, that hey, that, that's what you call. Uh, what's that nigga name? Six nine. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's six nine. Man, hey. But I think he so. What you think about? Done. You think it's crazy that that nigga still walking around and just living and breathing like that? Just I him. Mean, shit, I'm gonna just say like this. Shit, damn. I'm gonna just tell you like this, fam. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is is? I I can say niggas get God when they get God. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. six nine got motherfucker ain't gonna tape fucking one got the feds on his ass watching them every nah, when he shit. piss shit. 
niggas ain't telling you on Sim like that because he ain't trying to show all that. Nah, you know shit. what I'm saying? Niggas, he hiding, man. That nigga ain't, you don't really see 6 9 like that. Not no more. At first, he, <laughs> he, had, a little, he had a little victory tour and then that nigga turned out. He, hey, he, dead man walking. I'm going to tell you like this. For real, man. I fuck with Lil Dirt. You know what I'm saying? A lot of. I know we talk about the the the, the violence and shit, and the, you know what I'm saying. I'm, nah, you know, I, sure. I just look at the shit. I'm from the shit, so when I look, you at look at how normal, it is instead of trying to, you know, what I'm saying it's normal. Yeah, so yeah see, it's we, normal. It's we can't do shit about it, like nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we don't, if we don't see it, in, most people don't see it in the street. They gonna see it on TV. I mean, that's how yeah. you see, nigga. And I mean, <laughs> my kids, they don't. I shit, I, I'm. I start listening to music. I start listening. I'm man, who the fuck is these young niggas? Man, what the fuck is <laughs> man, I'm talking about I started looking at I'm talking about, I'm talking about I did a whole documentary on these niggas, man. Yeah. Try to Ooh. try to figure out who they is. Oh shit, man. These young niggas really out here killing me. I'm talking about these didn't know young niggas in the life. Then look, I, I go to my son's school, right? Yeah. I'm like, okay, they go to a, not that they do go to a bad ass school, right? You know what I'm saying? But this, you know, as they get older, there's some black kids up there just acting retarded in front of these mm -hmm. white folks. You know, one thing about me, I had some sense. You know what I'm saying? Not real shit. Nigga had I was shit. trying to really be on TV on some more shit. You know, I couldn't be yeah. out. I was being <laughs> sneaking in the motherfucker, saying, like, oh, I hope I don't get caught. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Real yeah, shit. Probably had my coaches probably knew, but shit, you know, it's like. <clears throat> I don't know, man. It's different with these young niggas out here, man. These young niggas. Yeah, they're crazy, nigga. These young niggas on some other shit, bro. That's why I say, bro, like, it's it, 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 it just crazy. It's just crazy to put, pull that bitch now to shoot, nigga. Like, damn, nigga. Like, shit, most time, bro, okay, I can understand. Some shit, yeah, you might have to go get a nigga. But some shit, bro, like, if he fucked your bitch, bro, look, man, just look. Just, just take that layer, nigga. Just, I mean, yeah, we going to have to. I mean, but look. Take it, nigga. This shit. Bitch gonna have to stop fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? If a bitch saying they they not cheating, you can't. If, if I catch a bitch cheating, and that just straight up, I, I can't fuck with that no more. Married in the like, you know what I'm saying? Like you say, you know what I'm saying? Like my, my wife, you ain't got proof. <clears throat> so, you know, I, I can't argue with a bitch about that. You know what I'm saying? My wife tell me every time she loves you, so shit. If I asked her a million motherfucking times, and I don't ever catch her, so shit. I now, you know what I'm saying? It might take a nigga some time after the bullshit you went through. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. You just gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta just try to hang it there if it's a possible away, or you know what I'm saying? Most women they'll try to put you at your lowest and then want to treat you like you a scumball. Hell no, nah, baby. Let me tell you. Some niggas put their life behind for for a family marriage. Shit, I'm gonna tell you like one thing about my cousin when he got married. He still made he if he ain't happy, shit, he don't give a fuck about nobody. I ain't saying he don't give a fuck about it, but he make himself happy. Then you know, yeah, he sure. you know what I'm saying. But it's just a man for us, like you know what I'm saying. I, and I know niggas who married money problems ain't neat. So you know what I'm saying. It's not too much. A nigga can say when you know what I'm saying when when the really you when you band up you know what I'm saying no, that's it. and shit like that's a difference you know what I'm saying that you got a woman who really got some value of herself not just acting like that you know what I'm saying you got a you got, <clears> so, got more respect for themselves now so I mean I mean so do you think like just like if you were a nigga like you should think you should dress up more than what. You know what I'm saying? What they do put on, nigga. Just, I, I mean, I know most, most women are going to be like, just because I'm with Look, my niggas, so I can do whatever, you know? Yeah, I'm going to tell you like this. Mm. A lot of niggas might not agree to it, but I, I know they won't. Bitches. Just keep it solid, nigga. You see the I back fuck, of that. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I, I'm, I fuck with <laughs> women. I don't, mean to, I don't mean no respect. <laughs> I fuck with the women. Mm -hmm. I ain't nothing. I, I'm going to tell you, if I got problems with anything, I'm, I fuck with women. I'm, that's just one thing about me. Sometimes you got to really let your wife, your woman have fun. You might look at it like it's ratchet, but shit. shit. Not saying she need to be naked, but nah, real shit. Song. Not naked, nigga. I'm just saying naked. she just need I'm to be. Saying, but you, you know, know she can I'm show saying. a little bit, show a little skin, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, shit, show a little something, but I'm not like like, like somebody. 
Bro, you telling me this bitch in this this one piece that's got that damn cat suit that's see through, nigga? Nah, hell nah, nigga. That nah. you can see. Nah, I can just look, man. I can't look. You know look, I ain't. That's on for me. She, I mean, she wear that shit in public, but she really want to wear that shit with you, so you can dick her ass down later. So she ain't wearing that shit for. She wearing that shit for mm -hmm. a man to dick her down. So you gotta be. You gotta know you laying that dick right. Shit, that's just. Nah, real shit. Just, I mean, but just not, I mean. But mind, but, mind, I ain't got to worry about mind doing that. She ain't finna. But I'm like saying, that. not no, like, <laughs> nah, not no shit. Like I'm saying, like some tights or some shit that's showing her ass. Nah, yeah, for push, sure. I tell it all the time. Man. Not a push, push, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I see most women who respect, who respect that man that they got on some tights. They wear some big drawers or something. You know what I'm saying? You know if she's single, she naked under that hoe. Or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or she with a nigga she don't want. And she cheating on that nigga, you know what I'm saying? It's a different story. That happens a lot. <laughs> that shit happens a lot, nigga. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying you gotta ask questions in that day with these women. Is you cheating? Shit, because bitches like Jada. <laughs> oh man, we, we don't want to get on the hub. I don't want to get on hub, motherfucker. Hey, man, nigga. I mean, you gotta, you gotta. We talking solid, <laughs> you know. You gotta keep that shit solid Bro. when it comes to somebody that a lot of motherfuckers looked up to, like they supposed to be in the perfect world, but. If but, I go down, I'm going to tell you, I did a little history of day marriage. That how Jada been disrespectful. <laughs> no, nah, I know she been doing some disrespect. The, man, I can tell you. Know bro, how she was, you see how she was talking to that nigga at the table, nigga? Come on, bro. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, bro. That's what nigga, I'm saying. It, it I said, different. nigga, what the fuck? And that's how my wife thinks she going to. I mean, my wife got, I mean, I ain't going to lie. Now that I look at it and I, and I realize and how my wife really determined on fixing this marriage and. No. I'm willing to, you know, straighten up for a man, for a woman, you know what I'm saying, that's really trying to show that she love or, you know what I'm saying, then I, you know, I especially tell her, shit, you got to straighten up, bro. You know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. You got to. You got to straighten up, bro. Oh, you got to, you know, yeah. try to figure out what, what it is that's not, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that, you going to figure out like this. If you got a real motherfucking woman, you going to know. And that's just solid as I can tell you. But most I mean, like, why do most niggas, to... but niggas, most niggas have a solid woman and still do the things they do? Oh, uh, man. No, I mean, it's something. What do you call it quiz? It, no, I mean, most, no, because it's nigga, it's women. I know, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, it's, it's, it go both ways, man. Like, it go both ways because it's some shit yeah, he probably yeah, be doing that he don't like that's leading him to cheat. And most women don't know that. That's a lot of shit that women don't know. <laughs> women just think they know it's something that you doing or something that you. You probably bragging about a nigga or doing some shit. He just trying to see if he play up. <laughs> I'm going to keep Because most women think that they just, yeah, it's a lot of niggas that's going to, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, for sure. Now, that's that's for sure. You know what I'm saying? I got niggas in the hood right now. I ain't going to speak on it because I fuck, I'm, I'm a solid ass nigga and I'm older. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to put too much, put that shit out there, but Man, it's it's too many fish in the sea. You know, if you're in a relationship, I feel like if I don't marry, I I, don't, I ain't gonna say I wouldn't get married again, but oh, it'll be tough. Cause it's, you know it's a, it's a, it's a women out here bullshit right now. It's hard for a woman to trust a nigga. So you know they they making it hard. They making it hard. I can't hear you. Hold on. I can't hear you. Hold on. You hear me? Uh, I can't know. What you want to be on YouTube? I can't see the chat. You can't see the chat? Nah. I just supposed to let you see it. I put it on uh, YouTube for show tomorrow. That's why I said I ain't. Hold on. I can't see the chat. It should be visible. What the fuck? Hold on. I'm just had my little partner in here. Yeah, I can't hear what the people saying. I just really want to hear what the people saying. I ain't got nobody paid on this shit. It's hard to vouch on that shit, man. Nah, really. I'm talking about your opinion and shit, you know what I'm saying? This show?
So I see it said just got out game. That's the topic. All right. Dog man hair, you know what I'm saying? That's my Back dog. That's my dog. That you know what I'm saying? Dog trainer, bro. Like I was telling you about it's my partner hey, right there. Hey, I support that. I'm, 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 I need to link up with him and talk to him about some dog breeding shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, he breeding. might, he might be on that shit too though. Like right now, cap. You can hit him up. That's like my little bro, man. Okay. Yeah. I can't see nothing like nothing else for it like that shit. I think he was just speaking on nigga. I can't see. You can't like, see. I it. Can't. Just got out. Of see it said fast, but a lot crack of beef. People don't know what real beef look like, yeah. But a lot of black uh, black families push their kids out in the area. Facts, facts. What well, dog man? What he talking about? Them facts, bro. Like not real shit. And see, and that's one thing I miss for talking so much. And that, that's why I want to hear from the people some shit. Not real shit. <laughs> I'm on that shit too. I've been saying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, but that, it just... I'm gonna tell you like this. I know y'all been 14, 16 out here more savage than a lot of niggas would when they was, you know what I'm saying, a little older than that around that time. So yeah. these mama giving up on these kids too, but I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind them. You know, OG told me that's married him and God. You know, kids sometimes grow grow nuts too. So, you know, it's mm -hmm. kind of you know, it's hard out here, man, when it's just a woman, you know, to yeah, have a shit. son. So, to have a son, too, try to grow as a man. You know what I'm saying? Because he going to, you know what I'm saying, he going he gonna to look for that father figure somewhere. And it might I not mean, be in the best interest. You know what And I'm going to tell you yeah. like this, it might take some time, too. And it might be some shit like words for it. Like his daddy wasn't there to give him money. Because that's mm -hmm. what we need. Young niggas like us, we needed something for our daddies to have some money and our mama. You know what I'm saying? Not to really depend not saying that, but shit, they need to have some money. You know what I'm saying? When you have kids and shit like that, you can't go around this hoe not making no money. And that, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of niggas who were successful because they had that 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 tree. You got that family tree. That shit. That shit the best thing. That's the brutal most brutal thing to have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't for real, man. He said. <laughs> Nah, man, I, I'm glad you came on this. Hall. I just really wanted to pop that shit because I, you know, just really give them some, some, some for the people to just sit there, man. They don't, see, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. What dog man saying on that hoe, man? Oh uh, shit, he, he off that hoe now. By now. Oh yeah, he said no cap. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, shit. That just straight up. This this was the best topic. I mean, <clears throat> far as like. The best thing going for it is just get your kids in some kind of sports. Like, you know what I'm saying? If, if you want them, then if you... Oh, find out what they good at. Yeah. Shit, find out anything they talented is and support that. And make support sure they get whatever it is, it might you, get, know, you know what I'm saying? It shit, might change their life, too. Exactly. You might have the most dangerous kid. Most dangerous kids are smart. And that's just mm -hmm. off motherfucking top. The kid who mm -hmm. shot up the school, this motherfucker was like... The mo the, I'm telling you. The most. I mean, <laughs> I mean the nigga was a genius. <laughs> nigga, the smartest motherfucker in the school, basically. But he had a, he had a calculator, too, but he thought, you know what I'm saying? Trust me. He that had nigga it, was smart in the bitch. That like, nigga had that calculator. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, come on, bro. These kids need something else. I don't know what the fuck they mind was in. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we, we, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I like normal white people. <laughs> I don't know how much to say that shit without being. I, I, I ain't shit racist about me, but he said I like normal white people. <laughs> yeah, I don't see no strange motherfucker around me want to kill everybody in the house. I'm gonna tell you like this shit. You gonna have a problem with me, son? <laughs> That's gonna be the day you gonna think. Hear uh, me? Uh. <laughs> Gee, I was locked up with a white boy. That nigga was throwing pennies from the cage. Yeah, yeah. I told you, you bring your ass out here. I promise it's gonna be a different story. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, I don't give a fuck who you think. You <laughs> like, boy, I'm gonna, we gonna go hard in the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Not real but, shit. Yeah, man. Like you got to teach your son how to survive, man. You got to teach your girls how to. That nigga might have some money, baby, but I'm gonna tell you like this. You know what I'm saying? And you can't. Most men can't run their daughters away from me and either. She. I mean, I'm saying, if your really daughter want to date. Sometimes you gotta. I ain't gonna say you gotta let her go do that shit, but if you don't, eventually, I know some little daughters who done snuck out. So, 
Shit, my you wife. You're gonna have to be more cooler. Huh? You're gonna be have to be more sun related. Sun little, not too much. But mm-hmm. you gotta have to show her how to respect herself. But my you real know shit. what I'm saying? It's my hard out here. But nah, man. That's why, you know, you gotta, because <clears throat> you gotta really be there and actually teach them how to, you know what I'm saying, know what they going for. Because nigga, that money don't mean that nigga gonna be loyal to you. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, man, you gotta have, we gotta have some love around this bitch. I mean, if we gonna change anything, shit, it's gonna start with love. Shit, you gotta share the love, show how to show how to love motherfuckers, man. If you don't show them up how to love motherfuckers and how to not hate on the motherfucker and how to support a motherfucker when a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, up and shit. Most most people are like, nah, you, if you salute a nigga, still, people are like, oh, you dick riding him. Nah, I'm about to tell him he was a nah, nigga. Nah, nigga just, hey, the nigga doing his shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga on this shit. Like, you can't hate. Mm-hmm. So sometimes that shit can change the value of how you do shit. You know, matter. Motherfuckers gonna say what they say. It's about to stay. Get you a family. Stay the fuck out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shit. And if you gonna do some shit, be with family. And you ain't gonna have no problem. Shit. You ain't gonna have no problem. They ain't gonna tell on. Well, in some instances, but you know, real family, they ain't gonna tell on each other. Nigga. Shit. These families, some of these families, they stuck, stuck on working. Shit. I mean, yeah, working cool, but shit. I know motherfucking families who start some shit together and they, and they making millions throughout that. And the most thing they put themselves mm-hmm. in the business and they live, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna, it, mother, I'm telling you, man, we gonna have to change. <laughs> want more shit. You gotta want more shit. I look at Gilly the Kid. You know, I look at niggas, you know what I'm saying? No real shit. He from the street, but he a family man at the end of the day. No real shit. He say some real shit. You know what I'm saying? He respectful <laughs> to his motherfucking wife. I ain't gonna I ain't I ain't never seen getting the kid disrespect his wife. Uh, yeah. And that's some shit that we need to see as a man. You know what I'm saying? And we need it. And we we need a backbone. We need like Will Smith had somebody the, on bad boy motherfuckers probably didn't pay attention to that. Everybody didn't need me a trust fund. Yeah, nigga, that nigga Will daddy set him up in them bad boy mm, that nigga daddy shit. Had, no, ain't no telling. Yo, if we had that, trust me, most of these niggas wouldn't be into this dumb ass shit like that. Hell nah, nigga. I feel like you wouldn't have the time to be, you know what I'm saying? You would have to be, you know what I'm saying? Because it'll probably be stipulations behind that shit, too. So you have to get your shit together. It, that's what bitches going to be attracted to. You're going to find a good woman. When your structure right, that's when niggas find a good woman. If he a nigga from the streets and shit like that, or this, this, that, and the third, they have no role model, he going to go for these wretched hoes and shit like that. And you know what I'm saying? Not having no respect, like this shit. I'm telling you, I'm already knowing, nigga. That's why I shit. I don't know, man. We'll see, man. It might get better. <clears throat> shit, I'm, I'm trying. So. That's why I try to do with this channel, nigga, just to talk about it, nigga. Shit, nigga, don't I even talk about it. That's I why I say, shit, shit yeah. niggas, niggas hold their feelings in and don't be telling nobody. Shit, talk to somebody, shit. nigga. You might need to go talk yeah. to some to somebody, therapist. Talk I mean, to somebody, yeah. nigga, because yeah, most of. Most of the young men don't have no motherfucking father to tell them uh, or attend them, man. You can't really be doing that fuck shit right there. Man, mm, that's real shit. shit. But I feel like sometimes you nigga want to, I feel like nigga just don't want to confide into a female because he feel like she can use his vulnerability against him. Oh, that's what I was like. Yeah, nigga. That just, but what it is. It ain't no getting around that. That's just what that is. Like you said, bro. Most no, really shit. On that. They got to change this shit. You know, I, I, I learned that from a young couple, or you know what I'm saying? No, nah, because you got to learn that. Man. Yeah, man, this shit. This shit real out here, man. You got to. Dude, we got to change the culture. I need all these women selling and shaking their ass every day. Shit. That's all you see, nigga, once you put That's on Instagram. Man, I ain't going to talk about that. I done, seen, so many. I done seen some wives be hanging with single females, and now. They smoke singer than they was married. Yep, yeah, cause how they doing? See, that's why I wanted to say, like, you know, like, uh, you know, is that, like, is that okay for like, for a married woman to be kicking in with single women? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Going out partying, clubbing and shit all the time and shit. Like, you think any good can uh, come out of that? Nah, uh, nah, I don't think so. Cause I, you know, I, you know, you have women out there that do that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just being around a married woman. 
you know, go kick it with a married woman, you know what I'm saying? So you around somebody that you know you can kind of you can kind of talk to about shit like you know what I'm saying, not dumbass shit like nigga, this nigga get on my nerve because this nigga be doing this. Oh, you can relate, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. Yeah, hold on, instead of be like, oh man, you know what I'm saying, try to help me get this nigga in, and you end up, you know, it's, it's, it never ends right, bro. No, nah, you never. Wanna- you on the motherfucking road with that one, sir. Nah, real <laughs> shit. I mean, I know. I'm going to tell you like this, bro. You got some motherfucking wisdom under your belt. So, nah, it's hard to have. I mean, you just on top of it. You know women. That's all I can tell you. It's not that I, it, it took me a while to even try to figure out them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, figure, but look. Took, like, I'm going to tell you like this, brother. You, I mean, I can, I can tell you my brother or some shit yeah. like that because I I learn women, even though I might, we might still can't, we still try to learn them. It, yeah. it might be some little thing we do learn about them. We might not think we know what we do. So it just shit. They always try to fight the fact that we don't know them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. We know y'all. <laughs> we know y'all like a motherfucker. I'm going to tell you like this. I, <laughs> <laughs> my wife, I'm going to tell you right now. She not putting up with me for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I ain't putting mm-hmm. up with for no reason, too. You know what I'm saying? She got potential just like I got potential. Yeah. We both need to support each other. I ain't saying I don't support my wife. I support my wife on a lot of shit she do. I just don't... I don't like supporting, like... I support the last selling shit, but I don't like doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? No real shit. Cause I had to talk to women, and she came to me some shit like a lot of women find me attractive. A lot of men find you attractive. So, no real shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I go both way. I mean, it's kind of hard. Like, I mean, and especially, I feel like that's why most relationships don't work out because well, it's, it deals with the. Especially but, if you're a street nigga, you gonna fuck with females, bro. Because most time, it just you know, it's like you know, I'm a different nigga. I'd rather be laid back, chilling. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like to myself, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I got some shit I can be doing for, like running a business, fucking no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga ain't got to cheat. You and niggas ain't got to be out here dog and they, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't cheat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Conversation. If I feel like some shit. Is that cheating? That's cheating. I mean, <laughs> shit. That's cheating. I'm into anything this is for your wife, she I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker say. I don't give a fuck what your nigga say. If your wife don't like it, you cheat, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he said your wife don't like it, nigga. You cheat. You, you cheating. You a cheating motherfucker. And you nigga, you I you crack a smile at her, bro. That's it. Nigga, you ain't eat. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta man, you gotta start respecting these women sometimes, man. On the level that you think you ain't, you you slipping on, but it just sometimes women. I don't but, know, we take, just out of but, but 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 it's a big but. <laughs> if you think about how the Bible was created, and the men in the Bible, they had a several wives, and you know, and but they ain't gonna let you say they ain't gonna let you exactly. You know exactly, and <laughs> for what I'm saying, uh, that's what it means. I mean, I feel like if we had two insecure women, mature women in the house, and I'm starting to see that shit, Polly, and I ain't saying that's a positive shit to see, but baby, let me tell you like this. Us niggas don't have periods. You feel me? Seven days without no pussy? See. I don't know what the fuck they expect us to do. You know what I'm saying? That's but you gotta, you gotta be more strong minded than that, nigga. I mean, we don't got time for an attitude, too. But that's what you get. That's what I'm saying. You don't we get that. that. that, that that's that's the reason why I bring that up because. Nah, yeah, you get that. That's what you mean. Okay, okay. I we don't want to hear that shit. 
don't want to hear the motherfucking attitude, nigga. Like, damn. You get will, that on top because... of not getting no pussy, nigga? Shit. Exactly. That's and that, and I'm going to tell you like this, nigga. <clears throat> you better be fucking in your marriage. I'm going to tell you like this. If you ain't fucking in your marriage, something wrong. Not real shit. And that's for a fact, nigga. But probably if she ain't fucking you, she probably fucking somebody else. Or he, exactly. he or she, exactly. <laughs> he or she, whoever it is. Exactly. Not my, so you know, I'm not but trying to you know put on the line. Most of the whole line, they they fighting for relationship, but they really out here cheating. They just covering that shit up, and you ain't caught them yet. If you don't catch a bitch, you out of there. You can be with a bitch 10, 20 years. She can be cheating on your head. You never know. Yo, they know how to clean their tracks. So. I mean, we are looking at that shit too, and they 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 fought us so much, but it's like, damn, y'all slick and the motherfucker, like a motherfucker, motherfucker slick, and they don't want to let you know about it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, say you just gotta know your woman though. I mean, shit, like I'm gonna tell you, yeah, you right about that. You gotta know, you gotta know her, just like you just gotta know Mother- like habits, nigga, nigga gotta I- know about habits, nigga. Like you gotta know what your your know. wife habits is, nigga. I don't- I don't know 100% niggas who don't know their wife. And if they do, they probably successful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, bro, just shit. I mean, you gotta I know, know, you gotta know her habits, nigga. So, shit, if shit don't line up, nigga, you know something, something, something blocking that, exactly. you know what I'm saying, energy, something, something in the way. Exactly. Nigga, you gotta know. You gotta know. And when he feel like he's not being honest. Because it's either, either you doing something wrong, she mad at you, no one say nothing, nigga. You gotta have a question, nigga. Exactly. You gotta ask question now. But some niggas don't want to be like, man, I don't want to ask quick because she might start going off and shit, nigga. Yeah, they, they try to make it seem like we some how ass niggas were going through their phone. You go through my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go. I'm gonna tell you straight up like this. You know what I'm saying? I do. My wife accused me so much. I look, I finally went through her shit. It wasn't no shit where a nigga was telling my they fucking and shit. And it wasn't no, you know, it wasn't really it wasn't no cheating ass shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It was just, you know what I'm saying? On some, it was a little bit of disrespectful, but <clears throat> it wasn't too bad. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too bad of a, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? You just, women got to watch how they move too. Because you they don't know the saying. A nigga can be lowered in the hole. You spark that flame like he lame. Just because he come and he don't want to be, he don't get, you know, he got a woman. You know what I'm saying? Most niggas do get comfortable. Not nah, real we, shit. We come to the house, we don't want to do nothing, or we, shit. Nigga, you better start taking your woman to the club, nigga. I'm you taking her home, just taking her out, nigga. Shit. Fuck the club, he, nigga. I ain't got time He bored me, too. They might want to shake some ass. I'm going to tell you like this. You got. I'm telling you, nigga, better. If you, I'm going to tell you, man, you going to have to, you going to have to experience some shit with your woman, man. And you just got to be open with it, bro. You got to let them have fun. Like, you got to really let them enjoy their motherfucking life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's just, that just, that just something as a, what we was raised on, we didn't know that. Like, I ain't saying enjoy their life to where they got to have fun with their I'm just saying you got to enjoy your life with her. Like, you got to mm-hmm. be the nigga who taking her to the club, holding the door, giving her roses occasionally. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think about getting my Roger when she on her period. You know what I'm saying? That, now let's get on that respectful shit. You know, what I'm saying? I ain't just making sense, but I ain't do it. So it's just something that you know. It's a lot of shit that we got to start more doing for our women mm-hmm. than we think. You know what I'm saying? Not real shit. So shit. I mean, if you really want, if you're a woman lawyer and you know women. And you see, you know what I'm saying? You gonna you gonna want to correct that shit, bro, to make your woman happy because you you want the coochie happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they say happy wife, happy life, right? But now, nah, but let me cut you on that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you on that. I ain't seen where that shit in the Bible though. <laughs> you tell me I that mean, shit because yeah, I'm sick of that. Nigga, it's 50, yeah. 50. If I ain't happy, motherfucker, you ain't happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you straight up, nigga got to be happy. <laughs> yeah, you got to let nigga be happy, man. The king yeah. got to be happy. That's what's supposed to happen. The king happy, the whole nigga, family happy. What? Yeah, and, and niggas don't too much. You got to be a strong motherfucking nigga to say that. 
Nigga, I mean, I understand you gotta keep the queen happy, but shit, nigga, it's the king shit. Shit, cause she get fucked up and that nigga mad around that motherfucking shit. Hey, shit happening around this bitch, nigga. Man, we gon' we gon' we we definitely gotta expand this shit. We gon' we gonna leak up, man. Well we can, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be doing I mean you you doing it live, but you know what I'm saying? We need to make it like a little studio with this shit and have people mm -hmm. come in and or you know what I'm saying, have people come in and Talk, it's, man. It's, yeah, it's, it's 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 this shit definitely live. Nah, this is what I do. Hey, hey look, man. <laughs> Say, when I did it, bro, it, it took me a while, bro. You know what I'm saying? At first, it was you know somebody wouldn't I mean, think about, shit. but then once I jumped into it, nigga, it was just like shit. I like this shit, nigga. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? That's why I try to, you know, get to talk about, see what other people, how other people feel about regular people, bro. You know what I'm saying? While we here is about, it, with, you know, <laughs> other people feel it, but like shit. That's what I told y'all. That's what I do it for. That's why I'm trying to bring on more people. But you know, you know how I did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, shit, like you say, couples got to keep it solid with each other. That's just what that is, shit. You know what I'm saying? You out, bro? My fault, I guess, because I'm moving and shit. I can't hear you. Hello. I can't hear what you were saying. Nah, I was saying, you know, yeah, I'm gonna get up out of here. All right, bro. Yeah, hey, just man, let I me know, man. Just pick in, a topic, man, and we on it. But I got something too. We gonna have a bigger, you know, have a bigger group. You know, what I'm saying, have a lot of more. Yeah, different yeah, yeah. We definitely have to do that, so we can have more variety. I mm -hmm. want a more variety of people. You know, what I'm saying, I got to. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just make it seem like I know. You know, no, no, we just speaking on <laughs> speaking nah, on what no. you know. No, I'm saying like it's I mean we gotta yeah. hear this shit. We can't we ain't gonna change this shit by itself 